Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. We're continuing our reading of the Book of Mormon for us theology students who want to be able to understand different religions so that we can defend our faith as uh, intellectuals, as Muslim believers, and to be able to understand. So we've read quite a bit, I must say. So we are in chapter 6. Let's begin. The Nephites gathered to the land of Kumora for the final battles. Mormon hides the sacred records in the hill Kumora. The Lamanites are victorious, and the Nephite nation is destroyed. Hundreds of thousands are slain with the sword. Okay, so here, even here, you hear the battles. And now I finish my record concerning the destruction of my people, the Nephites. And it came to pass that we did march forth before the Lamanites. And I, Mormon, wrote an epistle unto the king of the Lamanites, and desire of him that he would grant unto us that we might gather together our people unto the land of Kumora, by the hill which was called Kumora, and there we could give them battle. And it came to pass that the king of the Lamanites did grant unto me the thing which I desired. And it came to pass that we did march forth to the land of Kumora, and we did pitch our tents round about the hill Kumora, and it was in the land of many waters, rivers, and fountains, and here we had hopes to gain advantage over the Lamanites. And when three hundred and eighty and four years had passed away, we had gathered in all the remainder of our people unto the land of Kumora. And it came to pass that when we had gathered in all our people in one land of Kumora, behold, I, Mormon, began to be old, and knowing it to be the last struggle of my people, and having been commanded of the Lord that I should not suffer the records which had been handed down by our fathers, which were sacred, to fall into the hands of the Lamanites, for the Lamanites would destroy them. Therefore I made this record out of the plates of Nephi, and hid up in the hill Kumora, and the records which had been entrusted to me by the hand of the Lord, save it were these few plates which I gave unto my son Moroni. Okay, this is an important thing theologically for them. So, Mormon... The last struggle, and then the plates, the sacred plates, doesn't want them to be in the hands of the Lamanites because they would destroy them. So the record, the plates of Nephi, hid them in the hill of Kumora, and then his son Moroni. Okay, Moroni, if I've seen correctly on the Mormon temples, he's blowing a horn on top. I believe that's him. And it came to pass that my people with their wives and their children did now behold the armies of the Lamanites marching towards them, and with that awful fear of death which fills the breasts of all the wicked, did they await to receive them. And it came to pass that they came to battle against us, and every soul was filled with terror because of the greatness of their numbers. And it came to pass that they did fall upon my people with the sword and with the bow, and with the arrow, and with the axe, and with all manner of weapons of war. And it came to pass that my men were hewn down, yea, even my ten thousand who were with me. And I fell wounded in the midst, and they passed by me, that they did not put an end to my life. And when they had gone through and hewn down all my people, save it were twenty and four of us, among whom was my son Moroni, get his son Moroni, and we, having survived the dead of our people, did behold on the morrow, when the Lamanites had returned unto their camp, from the top of the hill of Kumura, the ten thousand of my people, who were hewn down, being led in the front by me. And we also beheld the ten thousand of my people, who were led by my son Maroni. And behold, the ten thousand of Gid Gidona had fallen, and he also in the midst. And Lama had fallen with his ten thousand, and Gilgal had fallen with his ten thousand, and Limna had fallen with his ten thousand, and Jenem had fallen with his ten thousand, and Kumeniha, and Moroniha, and Antonium, and Shiblom, and Shem, and Josh had fallen with their ten thousand each. And it came to pass that there were ten more who did fall by the sword with their ten thousand each, yea, even all my people, save it were those twenty and four who were with me. 
and also a few who had escaped into the southern countries, and a few who had deserted over unto the Lamanites had fallen, and their flesh and bones and blood lay upon the face of the earth. That's a pretty gruesome scene, look at that. So it's just a massacre battlefield. Being left by the hands of those who slew them to molder upon the land, and to crumble, and to return to their mother earth. And my soul was rent with anguish because of the slain of my people, and I cried, O ye fair ones, how could ye have departed from the ways of the Lord? O ye fair ones, how could ye have rejected that Jesus who stood with open arms to receive you? Behold, if ye had not done this, ye would not have fallen, but behold, ye are fallen, and I mourn your loss. O ye fair sons and daughters, ye fathers and mothers, ye husbands and wives, ye fair ones, how is it that ye could have fallen? But behold, ye are gone, and my sorrows cannot bring your return. And the day soon cometh that your mortal must put on immortality, and these bodies which are now mouldering in corruption must soon become incorruptible bodies, and then ye must stand before the judgment seat of Christ to be judged according to your works. And if it be so be that ye are righteous, then ye are blessed with your fathers who have gone before you. So look at that. The judgment seat of Christ, not the throne of God. It's a very interesting theological distinction here for us. Oh, that ye had repented before this great destruction had come upon you, but behold, ye are gone. And the Father, yea, the eternal Father of heaven, knoweth your state, and he doeth with your according to his justice and mercy. That's the end of chapter 6. So the names we are learning, right, the eternal Father, how they address God. So we learn quite a bit uh, for their theological dictionary type terms, I guess you could say, for Jesus and God. Okay, uh, chapter 6.